All right, we have a 2010 Subaru Forester 2.5 liter. Uh, came in on the tow truck. Customer complaint was it overheated. They could smell antifreeze and there was some sort of noise. Um, we got it in here. Initial inspection shows that there's antifreeze all over the top of the engine, the air box, the uh, hood underside is completely covered. The overflow bottle is completely full. Uh, which suggests that the cooling system was pressurized and pushing the fluid out. So we suspect that it may have a blown head gasket. Uh, first thing that we did, we did start it and listen to it. The engine did sound okay. Uh, maybe a little bit of a misfire, has a check engine light. Um, but we're going to do a block test on it to see if there's combustion gases in the cooling system. So we'll remove that radiator cap. It's been sitting a little while. We know that it's cool enough that it's not going to boil over and burn us. And then I'll start it and we'll see what happens. See if the fluid changes color. If it does have combustion gases in it, it will change the fluid color. Uh, this is a two chamber tester. The bottom one will change first. The top one is mostly what you go on because this one can get contaminated with uh, antifreeze. But uh, let's see what happens. Horn works. <laughs> So we're not seeing presence of combustion gases in the cooling system. However, in the process of that, I look over at the radiator and I see that it is cracked, severely cracked across the top of that tank. And I'm not sure what that is. There's some kind of waxy substance. So the radiator is definitely split. We'll have to probably repair the radiator and then test for combustion gases again or at least try and temporarily seal that off because they, everything could be escaping through that hole. So I guess we'll do that and go from there. Okay so we're going to try this again on the Subaru. Uh, we have a very temporary patch on here. We just cleaned it up real good and then tried to stick some tape over the crack. The only thing we're trying to do here is not suck air through that crack into our uh, block tester. Um, we want to pull gases from the cooling system itself. So um, I did also want to mention we did check the oil. Uh, the oil, the dipstick is clean. The oil's clean. No uh, sign of coolant in the oil. So, so we'll start this up and try it again.
And as you can see here, it's clearly changed color. It is no longer the darker blue color that it was when we began. Which is indicative of a blown head gasket. So there are combustion gases getting into the radiator, which is almost always what causes a radiator to blow out in the manner that this radiator blew out.